It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Max and Spencer's Plank Kitchen. Three cheese stone baked pizza. There's a look at it. It's coming in at 416 grams. But what I've really kind of found interesting, well, more than interesting, alarming about this pizza is I'm a full grown man. I'm going to eat this whole pizza. But if I choose to do so, it's going to take up half a pizza that is 53% of your daily saturated fat allowance. So if I eat the whole pizza, which I'm sure I'm going to do, that's 106% of your daily recommended saturated fat in one meal. And guess what? It's vegan. That's the scary thing about this, is that I chose to kind of go on this kind of like, not 100% not vegan diet, but to try these vegan foods because I was led to believe that these foods were healthy. By looking at this, by judging this, I mean, th you've got to be so careful. There's, there's wonderful bean curries, lentil bean curries, which my wife knocked up with cauliflower yesterday, which was terrific. And I, and I bet there wasn't much saturated fat in that at all. So um, what, I'm, what I want to get at is if, is if you're choosing to reduce your meat content, maybe to lose a little bit of weight, be careful what you buy. Without further ado, let's get cooking. Okay, so let's take a look at the pizza. Just come out of the oven. It looks pretty good. It took 20 minutes though. It says it takes between 8 and 10 minutes. But it took 20 minutes in my oven. I wanted to make sure the cheese was... I say cheese. It's actually coconut. I wanted to make sure this coconut cheese was really cooked. And it kind of melted. That's what I was looking for. But it's really quite... Um, it smells like a blue cheese. Alright, here we go. Let's dive into this. Let's get the first piece. Here's a close look at it. I'll eat the first piece normally. Normally I eat pizza like an Italian. I'll, I'll fold it over and eat it from the outside in. Oh, it's hot. Ooh. Whoa. Wow, um, I made sure I went into this review really hungry. It's a whole pizza. Um, I've been for my two hour walk today and really, really hungry. Really, really hungry, but I don't know, there's something that, this is difficult. This is a difficult pizza already. The cheese is melty. It is melty. But it's really strong. It's like... You know blue cheese, some people say it's like it's like smelly socks. Um, it, it's... It's got this real kind of smelly sock taste to it. It's like having a smelly sock in your mouth. Of course, I'm not one for waste. So I'm going to eat this, even though I really don't like it. The base is nice. A lovely crispy base. Some of the herbs on here are quite nice. There's some greenery, look. They've made a really real effort with this. Um, I quite like their Max and Spencer Plank Kitchen Burgers. I thought they were really good. I also really, really, really like the Chicken Kievs. I thought they were, I say Chicken Kievs, no Chicken Kievs by Plank Kitchen, Max and Spencer. They were terrific. 
really tasty. You wouldn't know the difference between a real chicken Kiev and a no chicken Kiev from Marks and Spencers, but this, this is something entirely different. Personally, I think the most difficult thing to do with recreating kind of vegan food is to recreate cheese. Cheese is really, really, really difficult to do. Um, they can do burgers, they can do sausages, they can do chicken nuggets, they can do chicken, no chicken Kievs, they can do sausage rolls, they can do steak bakes, no, no steak steak bakes. But cheese, cheese is really difficult. I think that's the reason why vegan pizza has not really taken off. And if you're watching this as a vegan and you know of a really, really good vegan pizza, please let me know in the comments box. I'm getting used to it, but it's like, it's really strong, almost sour-like. really sticky as well. It kind of like just sticks to the inside of your mouth. And there's a, a weird taste of pineapple in here for some reason. This is gonna be a real challenge eating this. I've eaten one slice. There's five to go. I commend, I'm gonna fold this. Well done to Marks and Spencers for having a go at this. Well done for catering to the vegan market. But this needs improving. Whoa. The tomatoes are nice. It's the stinky cheese. It's I think this is gonna repeat on me all afternoon. It's it's five past one in the afternoon. Um it's gonna be a real repeater. The only real saviour is the is the crust. Lovely crispy. Mm. Beautiful pizza crust. Shame. It's a real shame. Maybe if you like that kind of, maybe if you like vegan cheese, maybe you'll love this pizza. It's just not for me. It's really, really strong. <clears throat> We're gonna keep going now. We're not gonna give up on this. I don't know, maybe maybe if they put some maybe if they put some onion or, or something. I don't know. Do you have onion on a cheese pizza? I don't think you do, do you? Just thinking ways of, of trying to get away from that kind of really strong cheese, but I don't think there's a way of doing that. It's a three cheese pizza. <coughs> So just by finishing this one piece, I've consumed, or I'm about to consume, 53% of my saturated 
fat, the guidance, my fat, saturated fat for the day. That's incredible. You can taste it. You can taste it's like that sludgy kind of sticky taste. Okay. I've done half and I'm really filling, filling up. I'm really kind of like, I'm not sure if I'm going to finish it. Okay. Um, let's do a time lapse. Let's see how much we can eat. couldn't eat the middle of the I had the crust of all of the pizza I had another slice at the two crusts I, I can't do any more my stomach my stomach has expanded I feel like I've eaten a ton of fat the cheese is like really bad smelly socks it's sickly it's a real shame. It's a real shame. For me, that's no more than a 3 out of 10. So 3 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!